Hi guys, it is Sahara back again, finally, with another What's Sold video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys today what sold for me in the first two weeks of September on Poshmark and eBay. For those of you who are new here, I am a reseller who sources items at thrift stores, consignment, estate sales, all kinds of places um, to resell online, and I mostly sell clothing, accessories, and shoes. So I usually put these in order from the best to worst, but I actually accidentally left one of the worst sales I've had for the first two weeks of September um, on the screen to begin with. So I'll just tell you guys, this was a brand I'd never heard of, and I picked this up a while ago, probably like a year and a half, and I just looked up the brand really quick, and I saw it was sold at Revolve, so I was like, oh, sure, I'll get that. I paid up for it. I paid like $7 for it, and I only wound up making $3 off of it. So this is one of those rare items where I actually lost money in it, um, I certainly wouldn't pick this up again, and now the biggest reason I think this didn't sell better was it was an extra small. I am extremely picky about paying up for items if they are like an extra small or a small because they usually sit so much longer than items that are in larger sizes. Okay, so the next good sale I had, this was an all right sale. Um, I did pay a little bit for some of these items. The first two vintage dresses came from the bins so they didn't have much into them but the last one I did get from an estate sale and I had to pay shipping and I think my average cost per item was like $13 so altogether I had about 15 bucks into it and the bundle sold for $39.60 so not horrible I was happy to move the other two dresses because they had been sitting for a while so that was an all right sale and um, the next item was this River and Sky long tie-dye duster cardigan. I got this for only a dollar at a thrift store that was going out of business, and that was probably about a month ago. So it did not take long to sell. I could have got more for this actually, um, but for whatever reason, I just took an offer on it. I was really trying at the beginning of this month to just move items. And um, these Democracy, Democracy is, has been one of my favorite brands to pick up lately. And usually what you want to look for the, in them is their jeans in the ab solution and the ab technology line of jeans that are made with like a stretchy elastic waist. Um, but I found these pants at the bins and they were a special line called Flexilent and they had a really good sell through rate when I looked them up. So I sold these for 24 bucks which is really not bad for a like kind of mall brand, I believe, like Democracy. Um, and it actually has a really good sell-through rate. So definitely keep your eye out for this brand. Okay, this was my first time finding American Giant. I found this at the bins, and it was a nice big jacket. And it looked so dingy when I found it, guys. It was like had dirt spots and stuff like all over it and so I just bought it on a whim hoping it would come out when I washed it and almost all of it did it did still have like some kind of just faded spots and stuff so I listed that in the listing and it still sold for $33 in just a couple of weeks so that was a great sale and next was this horny toad little mini skirt this sold for $19 on Poshmark I've had this for a few months it came from the bins um, this brand is alright. They make a lot of stuff out of like organic materials and just better quality materials. And so that is one of the things to look out for in this brand. It's kind of like the the brand name always reminds me of Toad & Co. And they're kind of similar in the types of items they make. Okay, speak of democracy. Here's a pair of the democracy app technology jeans. I was just telling you guys about these sold for 20 bucks. I'm not sure if I got them at the bins or the regular Goodwill. I have been buying these jeans pretty much anytime I find them at Goodwill now for $5.99 because they always sell for about $20, which is reasonable to me as a profit margin, and they sell super fast and reliably, so I don't mind paying that for them. Um, so yeah, not much to say there. Okay, so this is a brand I've been wanting to learn more about is Cabby, and I saw this beautiful top at Goodwill I think it was 50% off for like the color tag or something so I was like let me just try this brand out and this top sold for $24 which I feel like is pretty good for just like a regular top you know and not that high of an end of a brand um, I definitely think the style helped it had like bell sleeves it was just so beautiful so I think that's why it sold for $24 on Poshmark and I think that took about a month to sell 
Okay, this is a brand I found twice recently in jeans. Um, and the first pair I found was just these skinny jeans. I got these on a Labor Day sale, I want to say. So they were just basic skinnies and they didn't have the best sell through rate for this style. So I think I had it listed for like 30 and I got an offer for 23 within like a week. So I just took that offer. Um, but this brand Driftwood is a pretty good brand to look out for. Honestly, I've only found it three times now. Um, but yeah, so the jeans are sold at places like Free People, Sundance, so definitely stores that are sought after. And the other pair that I found was more of a straight leg crop jean with a raw hem and embroidery. So definitely more on trend. And those ones had much better comps, like $60 to $80. So definitely keep your eye out for these jeans. All right, the next pair of jeans I sold, I've been selling a lot of jeans, which is great because... Honestly, jeans are like one of my favorite sections to shop um, at the regular Goodwill. I just feel like as far as like value and like sell through rate and profit margin, I just have really good luck of finding like, you know, items that I can get about $25 for in the jean category versus other sections of the regular thrift store. So these were some NYDJ jeans. These are the Maryland Street in a size 10. I have been selling NYDJ like crazy lately. I have sold probably like 10 pairs in the last month. So I've been picking them up anytime I see them now. Um, these jeans retail for a lot, like $100 or more. And some people must just love how this brand fits them and they know their size in it. So they know what to look for. And that's probably why they sell so well would be my guess. Um, but yeah, so these sold for 25 bucks. I had had them listed for a little while, I think, because I think I got them in the summer. Um, following right up, another pair of NYDJ in a size 16 wide, same style, Maryland Street, just in really nice condition, and these sold for 25 as well. Okay, another brand of jeans that is more of like a lower tier bread and butter um, is Old Navy. I don't pick up a lot of Old Navy jeans, but these stretchy waistband rockstar jeggings, specifically the pull-on ones with the stretchy waist, have a decent sell the rate in the larger sizes. This is a size 14, um, and these sold for $18 on Poshmark. So if I see those at the bins, I will pretty much pick them up there. Okay, the next item was these Poetry Wide Leg Linen Pants. When I got these home, they had like a thick hem at the bottom, and the bottom part of the hem had like a dark stain on it that I didn't see. So I cut them myself at the seam line, and I listed that in the description and all because they were still really beautiful linen pants. And it was like a dark black like ink stain. Like I don't even know how I missed that at the store. Um, but these came from the bins. And so yeah, I was happy to cut them. Someone still wanted them even with them cut. These, This is a pretty good brand. I found a few times as far as linen pieces go. It seems to be worth a little bit more and have a bit of a following. So yeah, these sold for $27.00. If I hadn't cut them and all that, I probably could have gotten more for them. Okay, next up is these, this Title IX Sports. Very cute. I wish I had a picture of the tag in there for you, but I don't, sadly. This sold for $21 on Poshmark, and it sold in like a month or two at the most. So, yeah, that was a good sale. Next up was this J. Jill top in a size 2X. J. Jill does really good in the plus sizes. This was kind of like a sheer top. And just like kind of like a boho print. And this sold pretty fast for $25. So that was definitely a great sale. Um, next up is another brand of jeans. I've been picking up quite a bit. Like this is what I was talking about as far as the jean section. It's almost like every time I go, I'm guaranteed to find certain brands. Like Can Can, I find a lot. And I am I don't usually pick up the skinny jeans, I would say. But for whatever reason, I just liked, okay, so actually here's what it is. I don't pick them up if they're just like super skinny, plain skinny, and they're in really small sizes. These were at least in a little bit bigger size, and they just looked nicer, and they had just had a little more going for them with the button fly and the distressing. So I think that's why I picked them up, and I'm glad I did because they sold pretty quickly for $24 on Poshmark. Okay, next item. This is a brand, I love this item just because I feel like it's an example of like everyone writes off LuLaRoe because obviously LuLaRoe is like extremely 
saturated. Like if you know the story behind the company and stuff, you'd understand that. Um, and I definitely write off LuLaRoe leggings, but occasionally you'll find pieces from LuLaRoe, like this one I found at the bins, that are a little more substantial or a different style, and they're worth checking the comps on. This was a size 2X hoodie, and I don't know, I feel like this had a flaw with it, but maybe it didn't. That's a different one I sold them was thinking of but anyway so when I find plus size pieces from them that are not like the leggings that are more like dresses or like a hoodie top like this with a pretty print brand new at tags I do look those up um and I sold this for about 20 bucks so that was definitely worth picking up from the bins so don't write off everything in a brand because there's always something that's worth selling same with these like Lane Bryant is a brand that I'm pretty picky in like their jeans and stuff I usually don't pick up just because they sat for so long for me um, but these were like joggers. They seem like a newer style and they sold really fast for $15 on an offer I received and they came from the bins, I believe. Okay, next up was another bins find. I would usually never pick up Tommy Hilfiger. So yeah, another example of a brand that I never picked this up because it just sits like it's not that desirable anymore, but this was a jumpsuit in a plus size, a size 20 wide, and jumpsuits are just a really popular style people are looking for. It was a very cute print. It included the waist tie, had a lot of factors going for it, and it came from the bin, so I wound up getting about 20 bucks for this, and it sold fairly quickly, so definitely better than, you know, like some old Tommy Hilfiger items I've picked up in the past when I did not know enough and they just did not perform. Okay, so this is a really fun find. I sold, I showed these in a haul video not that long ago. These were some Lululemon pants. I picked these up from the bins and I was just looking at them and I was like, these look really nice. I'm like, there has to be a clue as to where they are because there's no tag. And then I saw the tiny little Lululemon symbol. Um, these were the ABC Classic Fit Men's Pants. I had them listed for $40, and within a few days, I got an offer for $30, and I just went ahead and took it. So, Lululemon Men's Pants and Men's Items seem to perform a little bit better for me and sell a little faster than the women's, from my experience. Okay, next up, another bins find. I love finding anything like Aztec, Indian from Ralph Lauren. It always performs really well. So this shirt I got from the bins and it was so dingy when I found it. It still looks a little dingy, I think, but I soaked it for a long time in um, washing soda and that got out a lot of the like yellowing and stuff. Um, and it wound up selling for about $28, I want to say, on an offer. So I was happy with that. Um, the next sale was these Crocs. These are some kids' Crocs from the bins. This pair was in, like, perfect condition. Seemed like they were barely worn, and these sold really fast for $13.50. I love finding kids' Crocs, regular Crocs at the bins. I always pick them up, and certain styles of, like, Croc sandals or heels, I will even pay up for it just because they do so well. Okay, um, next up is this The Mountain. This is a brand I love to find. Their t-shirts in they always sell well for me and especially something like this with the cat and the artsy print I wound up taking offer for 15 on this but you could definitely get more I am like so lenient with taking offers and I'm always trying to move items really quickly um I'm kind of maybe I could call myself the impatient reseller <laughs> but yeah so you could definitely get more for this if you found it it's such a cute cat t-shirt um, but yeah, I was happy with that sale. It came from the bins. So this was my, like, one of my best sales in a long time. It was this Nobis jacket I found at my regular Goodwill. I think I paid $12.99 for it. I had never heard of this brand, but this jacket retailed for $900. Literally insane. It's like a Canadian brand. I had all the, like, authenticity stuff right on the jacket. Um, just a really amazing jacket. I had it listed for a little more. Yes, I did have it listed for $350 originally. Then I started running a Labor Day sale on my whole shop, which included the items I just listed, like this jacket, which I was fine with. Anyways, I wound up selling it for $240 on an offer I received, and it sold in literally like less than a month. So that was a phenomenal sale. Super happy. <laughs> I want some more of those. Okay, next up was some Chico's. Once again, the pull-on stretchy jeans always do really well. People just love the comfort of those. So I've picked up a few pairs of these. I paid like $5.99 
for all of them in the last few months and all of them have sold. They were all Chico's pull on jeggings and they sell for around like 18 to 22 dollars I would say. Um, so yeah, I would definitely keep picking those up for five, five ninety nine. I think that's worth it personally, just because they are consistent fast sellers. I know they will move. Okay, next up was some Foot Joy golf shoes. I feel like I don't know. There was quite a few golf shoes I had where like I sold them once and then they got returned or different things. So I'm not sure if this was one of those pairs, but anyways, these came from the bins, as do most of the shoes that I buy. Um, and these sold for 22 bucks. Foot Joy, I feel like, is a, pair, a shoe brand that you can find a lot at the bins. And just in general, like golf shoes, at least in my bins, they get skipped over. So definitely, if you're seeing golf shoes, check the cops on them, especially if it's like the good season for that, like spring or summer. I don't really know if fall is still a season for golf. I live in Florida, so it probably is here. <laughs> but um, yeah, just check the cops because golf shoes are expensive. And if they are in good condition, like, these little gray things on the bottom aren't all broken and stuff. Um, they are worth selling. <laughs> all right, next thing I have really liked finding is Judy Blue lately. I've found it quite a few times. Um, and their shorts especially sell really fast compared to, like, like, it's really hard to find good brands to sell in shorts, especially as we're going out of summer. So I listed these, like, in September, and they sold in, like, a week for 23 bucks. And I was pretty happy with that. I think I paid $5 for them at the regular Goodwill. All right. I'm not sure when I picked this up or where. But this was just a Chico's top. It was in a size medium. It was new with tags. At the most, I had $5 into it. But I'm not even sure if I had that into it. Um, and it took a few months to sell. I think I did pick it up in, like, summer. So it wasn't the best kind of thing to sell in summer. But yeah, it finally sold for $17. I think this sold at the beginning of the month when I was doing a 20% off sale for Labor Day. I noticed that having a, a store-wide sale really boosted my sales at the beginning of this month. And so I'm probably going to do that again to maybe just wrap up the last few days of the month because it helped so much. Okay, next up was this Chico's top. Another one I picked up new with tags. I got this myself at a Labor Day sale, I want to say. And then I sold it pretty quickly after, within like a week. And I think I only had like three or four bucks into it. And it sold for $21.58. It was new with tags as well. Okay, this would go in the worst sales, actually. I was pointing this out because I just want to say like Champion is a brand I literally like will never pick up anymore. It's just not worth it. These shorts had a lot of interest on them. They were pretty cute, um, but they took a long time to sell. I've had these for six months, a year, maybe more. I don't track my items on some ginormous spreadsheet or anything. I move items too quickly for that. But yeah, I've had these a while. So I am glad they finally are out the door for five bucks. I got them from the bin, so no loss there, but still not something I'd pick up again. Okay, next up, this is something I have been picking up. It's these Adriano Goldschmied jeans. I don't know if I'm saying that right. These were the new hero style. I have pretty much only found styles in this brand in the men's that are really worth selling. Every style I pick up in the women's, I look them up and they're just not worth selling. I don't know. Some, these had some wear too in the crotch area, as you can tell. But they still sold for 23 bucks. I think I had $5.99 into them. So, not bad. But yeah, I have not had luck finding their women's jeans in good styles. Okay, next up, this was a fun find. These came from the bins. There were some vintage Abercrombie, like, cargo style, convertible pants. Um, vintage Abercrombie stuff does really well. Just in general, Abercrombie is kind of, like, make a comeback as a brand, I feel like. If you watch Kaylee Elaine on YouTube, which if you don't, I highly recommend you do. She is an amazing reseller. She recently did like a brand dive into Abercrombie and just doing some brand research on eBay to see what items perform the best. And she mostly, what she found was like cargo styles, like Y2K, even like the old school Y2K like spell out jackets that say like Abercrombie in the big thick letters. Those are performing pretty well. So just keep an eye out for that stuff. And personally, I've also found like Abercrombie, like midi and maxi dresses, more modern ones. Um, they definitely do well. And the jeans, if they're not skinny jeans, 
Um, and they're like the newer tag from Abercrombie. I will pick those up. But anyways, so these sold pretty fast for $32. So that was a good sale. And they came from the bins. All right, next up was this JHL dress. Um, this was 100% linen. And it was missing the size tag, but I tried it on myself. And it was just a little too big for me. So I knew it was an extra large. Um, so, yeah. This sold for like 25 I want to say, on an offer. I hate how this price here is inaccurate. I told myself I was going to write down what all the accurate prices were before I made the video. But I didn't do that. So, sorry, guys. But, yeah, it sold for about 25 bucks. I want to say on an offer. Next up was some Birkenstocks. These came from the bin, so like they weren't in flawless condition by any means. Um, I could barely make out the number, but finally I did, so I wrote it there on a paper. Um, yeah, and these sold for like twenty-four dollars, and they took they took probably like three weeks to sell. I want to say. Okay, this is a brand I definitely don't pick up very often in blazers and stuff, Joss A. Bank. But this particular blazer was 100% um, camel hair. And I found it at the bins. Camel hair is pretty desirable, I want to say, especially as we get into, like, winter. Um, and so that's why I grabbed this. And it was in a really big size. And it sold literally in just a week or two for $24. So not bad coming from the bins. Next up, I have had this one for so long. I can't quite remember where I got it. I thought, I don't know. Like, Saks Fifth Avenue is weird. Like, I don't know if their brand is really that great or not. There's probably things in that brand that are worth a lot. I'm going to write them down, honestly, to do brand research. I think that's something all of us should try to do more when we have brands that we're just, like, trying to figure out. We just need to research it and, like, basically just search that brand on eBay and see, search, like, go to sold comps and see what is selling, like, high to low. Like, what are the items that are selling for the most in that brand? Anyway, so I had this for a while. I thought it was so pretty and stuff. It finally sold for $18. I don't quite remember where I got it. But I never pay up that much for things. If I had paid up for it, I would remember. Okay, next was these L.L. Bean duck boots. I picked these up on Labor Day. And they sold super fast. I wasn't sure if they would because the comps were, like, mixed. But I knew that, you know, I'm looking at comps from summer for an item that's more like fall and winter. I don't know. I'm assuming these are because they're boots. But they're more practical. So maybe people wear them year-round. What do I know? I've never worn duck boots. But anyways, so with that being said, like if I'm looking up winter items to check the comps, I'm going to be a little more lenient on sell the rate and stuff. What would matter more is like the price. Um, anyways, so these sold in just a week or two for $36. And because I got them 50% off for a Labor Day sale at a Goodwill, um, I had $12 since then, I want to say. So, not a huge profit, but not bad for such a fast sale. All right, these I got at Goodwill. I can't remember if I got them at the bins or the. I think I got them at the regular Goodwill and I paid like six bucks for them. They were new with tags. Um, I wound up selling them for $30 on an offer. They retail for $130, but. Yeah, Orvis is a decent brand. I do keep an eye out for it, and I've just gotten in the habit of, like, checking the comps if I'm paying up for it. If it's at the bins, I'll pick up pretty much anything from Orvis. Okay, another good brand. Um, I found this at the Goodwill for $5, I want to say. Um, the brand is called Habitat Clothes, and this was, like, Escape by Habitat Clothes. But Habitat is the brand. A lot of their stuff is made out of nicer materials. And I've just had luck selling it before. This was new with tags, and it sold pretty quickly for $30. So I was happy with that. Okay, this was a vintage denim kind of trucker jacket I found at the bins. Um, I had it listed for $30, and I accepted an offer for $20. And it sold in just a couple of weeks. Okay, this um, Urban Outfitters piece I found at the bins. Um, I would never almost never pay up for Urban Outfitters. I just haven't seen their items perform like at that much of a profit margin for it to be worth it, but I do pick it up at the bins. I usually take it to Plato's Closet. 
Um, but since this one was kind of like a corsety style, which I know is popular and it was new with tags, I decided to sell it myself and I'm glad I did. It sold in probably like a month for $18.74. Okay, the last good sale. Or wait, that might be one more good one. Um, was this Life is Good Patriotic t-shirt. This sold for $17, I want to say. I always pick these up when I see them. I think this one might have even come from the bin, so that's even better. But I'll even pay five bucks for these if they're in good condition. Um, if they're at the bins, I will take them even if they have a flaw or two because they always sell super fast. All right, another fast sale. These J. Jill Red Oak Linen Blend Pants. J. Jill pants do really well for me, especially in larger sizes and stuff, so... I'll pretty much always pick those up. I think I paid $5.99 for these, and these sold literally in like a day for $22, so not bad. All right, a worse sale. I've had this little bodysuit for so long. I don't know why I picked it up. I didn't even know what the brand was, but apparently this was sold at Forever 21. Definitely not a brand worth picking up. This finally sold for $2.68, so yeah, at least I got my money back. Um, same with this little Altered State top I picked up from the Vans. Altered State retails for a lot, like, in my opinion, because I buy everything at Goodwill. <laughs> like, my definition of a lot might be different from some people's. But anyways, their stuff retails for more than I would expect, um, but not all of it sells very well. I'm definitely going to be pickier with this brand and make sure I check the comps on it. And the last thing was a top I paid a dollar for at a thrift store. I don't know what I was thinking, like, Derek Hart isn't that great of a brand, but this was a 1X, and it just looked like a cute style. I was hoping that would help it sell, um, but I've had this listed for, like, a year, and it hasn't, it wasn't moving. So, I finally took an offer for $3.36 on it, or I think it was, like, marked down or something, and it sold for that amount. Um, but yeah, just happy to have it gone, happy to make room for new items, and overall I've been pretty happy with my month. Um, the last, like the second half of the month, I've been surprised by some bigger sales I've had, so I'll be excited to share those with you, hopefully in just a few days. And yeah, I'm going to try to get back into making more content. It has just been an adjustment time, you know, just trying to balance homeschool life, mom life, reselling business life, all the things. And yeah, I'm sure some of you can relate to that at certain points in your reselling journey. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something from the video. Um, stay blessed. Thank you guys.